Uh, hey everyone, so I know it's been a while, but shit's been happening, but I made a discovery I think I should share. I'm sorry that it's my phone camera, but you know. Uh, so I've been trying to get a good PS3 for a while, um, so I, I bought this overclocked one, uh, well overclockable one, but I wanted more FPS. Oh, uh, I also use this inbuilt uh, thing, hold on. Inbuilt FPS locker, here we go. So as you can see I'm on 60 FPS. Uh, so this is to show you how to, well not show you how to, but proof of concept on how I'm, how that it can be done. So there's this um, program called Artanis which lets you use cheats. So I'm going to be using Kingdom Hearts for this demonstration. I'll make a full tutorial if you guys are interested on how to get your game to 60 FPS. So, Basically, there's loads of fucking crap you've got to do to get the cheats working and shit. And even add them to the list of cheats, but... Basically, it's through this app called Atamis. Um, but there's no 60 FPS cheats on Atamis at all. So you've got to go looking for them and then you've got to, get, got to uh, implement them. Um, into the PS3 and then you can select them and crap. It's kind of annoying and hard to do, but... I'll make a full tutorial. This is a, uh, you know, just proof that you can use 60 FPS patches on the PS3, especially when it's overclocked like mine, and and you've got an SSD, so it'll help with the performance a lot to help you reach that 60 FPS. So here we go, Kingdom Hearts Remix. Um, it's just loading. I already clicked on it. Right, so this is the one I added here, the 60 FPS. It's not there if you don't have it, but... So, square... Oh, press A, then square. Let's go off it and then back on it to make sure that you've got it. There we go, 60 FPS. And then we'll press... Start game. It won't start the game, I've got to do it myself, but... Uh, now we can start the game. So, 60 FPS on menu. Find Kingdom Hearts, here we go. Uh, this is uh, like, absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's because it's overclocked or Kingdom Hearts 2 is not a very demanding game, but it runs at a nice 60 FPS when you're actually in game. I'm sorry about this loading. That's it, press start to attach, but don't do it yet because I don't know about any other game, but Kingdom Hearts does like two different boots. There's the, this option boot, and then when you start the game, when you pick the game, it starts the game boot kind of thing. It's two different files. So, Kingdom Hearts 2, yes. But 60 FPS here uh, on the menu, because but like that's just how the game was made. I didn't do anything for that. My, also, my PS3 is set to 720p, because it natively outputs 720p, and like, 1080p upscales from 720 to 1080 so I just thought I might as well keep it at um, 720 help with performance seeing as how the PS3 doesn't do many games in 1080p right uh, you can't see it hold on there you go 60 FPS in menu and then it'll slowly go down to 30 here we go locked at 30 here we go 30 FPS looks a bit sluggish like always I guess that's some of the PS4 has got ahead of us ahead of the PS3 right so now uh, 30 FPS uh, hold start for the cheat uh, or maybe I've got to press the home first 30 Home, hold it, attached, and wrote. Now we're at 5960. So much smoother. Just to prove I'm on, like, you know, real hardware and stuff. Smooth 60 FPS. Overclocked PS3 with an SSD. Um, I'm trying Skyrim next. I know Skyrim runs at a. You know, chop it, but I've got a few uh, mods. You can mod Skyrim on the 
PS3, by the way, if you know what you're doing. And I got a few, few uh, oh yeah, the cutscenes are in it. 60 FPS. Uh, well, it's all 60 FPS now, but. Um, yeah, you can mod Skyrim on the PS3 if you know what you're doing. So I added some low spec patches to it. And hopefully, going to get it running at 60 somewhat. I doubt it, but you know. So, yeah, 60 FPS patches on a retail PS3. Nice. But anyway, that's just a, a proof of concept. I'll be checking more games out. And then I'll show you a tutorial on the computer how to find them, install them, so on and so on. So, if you want that, please let me know and I'll get on with it. Alright, thank you guys. Peace.